Stacy with As A Tea Brews. Today I wanted to share a review on a tea um, from a tea company that is new to me. And I recently did a an unboxing video from this company. It's Old Barrel Tea Company and they are located in New Mexico. I ordered five teas from them. And then they also sent me a honey to try. And so this was about a week, week and a half ago that I got it and did the unboxing. And a lot of you said you wanted individual reviews on the tea. Some of you said to do them all in one video. Uh, I am just today going to start with one of the teas that I've had several times and I've had them all, but I'm still kind of, you know, sometimes like you have a cup of tea, but you need to have it a few times to really process the, the way that you, the flavors and the best way that you enjoy it. And you, I'm, for me at least, I like to try it plain first. And then sometimes I'll make it into a latte or I'll try it iced. Um, and so I like to try it different ways. And so this tea in particular, this is Mexican hot chocolate and they come in these tins and I've gotten tea in tins like this for, before from a company that was near my mom's house. Um, but these tins in particular, they have this clear lid, which is fun. You don't have to open it to see it. But I find that they've been kind of hard to take the lids off. <laughs> but other than that, um, they're fun tins. They stack nicely in the pantry. This one is Mexican hot chocolate and it's a black tea. It says decadent, spicy, bold. Serve hot with honey, a dash of cream, and top with cinnamon. And this tin is 3.26 ounces. So this is what the tea looks like. There's a lot of powder in there and I'll read the ingredients and you can kind of see what that is. But basically it's um, cocoa powder and chili powder. For some reason, Winston keeps wanting to move this table that I have my tea on. So if you hear it scratching and things sliding around, that's him. Okay, so um, this tea is a black tea. So it has black tea, hatch red chili powder, cinnamon powder, toasted mate, cocoa powder, cocoa nibs, dark chocolate chips, calendula, and natural flavors. So um, I didn't know what the calendula was, so I looked it up and it's a type of marigold called a pot marigold, not the normal marigold that you might have in your garden, but this is an edible one and it actually has a lot of medicinal uses. And so I'm glad I looked that up because it was really interesting to me. Okay, so this says uh, one to two teaspoons per eight ounces hot water and to steep seven to 10 minutes, 10 says so seven to 10 plus minutes. And so it's a black tea. So the first time I made this, I only did five minutes, I think, because I wasn't really sure. That just seemed like a long time for black tea and I didn't want it to taste bitter. Um, but it didn't seem super flavorful to me. And so, I mean, it was good, but it wasn't super flavorful. So I went ahead the second time and did it 10 minutes. And the first time I drank it plain and it was, it was good. Um, the second time I did 10 minutes and then I added a little bit of their honey. Uh, and this is their, and it's already rubbing off, but I believe it was the sunflower honey. So as you can see, I've already used quite a bit of this. I've tried it in, I think I've tried it in all of their teas. I'm very curious to see how like this tea or this honey tastes a little bit different to me than other honeys that I've bought. And it's not necessarily floral, but it has a little hint of almost a citrusy floral taste to me, just a little bit. Um, but they have like avocado honey and some other honeys. And I'm really curious to try those any other honeys and see how they compare because they actually recommend certain honeys to go with certain teas. And so I'm, I'm kind of curious about that. But this tea um, with this honey, is my favorite way to have this. They say to add the cream. I haven't done that yet. I could maybe make a latte and I bet the latte would be delicious. But I've just had the tea plain with the with a little bit of honey. And so the honey, the I haven't really measured it, but what I do is I take like a small teaspoon and I just dip it in the honey and I kind of let some of it drip off. And then I, whatever's left on there, I stir it in. So my guess is it's probably half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of honey, but I didn't measure, so. <laughs> um, okay, but here's the tea, and it's very, it's very opaque looking, and you can, there, some of that powder from the cinnamon powder, the cocoa powder, and the chili powder end up at the bottom. When you smell this tea dry, it, it made me cough, at least, because of the chili powder, and uh, it's, it's quite spicy in that sense, 
but it's not an overwhelming spice and uh, the flavors that you get the most from this when you smell it are chocolate and spice and it's a really nice combination so you can smell the black tea just a little bit in here but you actually don't taste it a whole lot I'm drinking my cup pretty quickly because I really like this tea. Um, with the honey, without the honey, it is still slightly sweet, I think from the cocoa and the chocolate chips that are in there. Um, but with the honey, it actually brings out those flavors even more. And so this tastes like a, a spicy, cocoa-y tea. I don't, know how, I don't know if I really taste the cinnamon a whole lot. The cinnamon's definitely there, yeah. But um, I don't taste the black tea a lot, um, even though you can kind of smell it. Um, but it's, it almost makes you cough just smelling the tea because of the chili powder. Um, but this is really good, and I think with some milk, or if you like lattes or adding cream to your tea, I bet that would be really good too. I just, I have to really be in the mood for a latte, and because they kind of seem just heavier and more decadent to me. Uh, most of the time I like it without anything in it. Um, but that being said, I prefer this tea with the honey. Um, I bet brown sugar would be really good in here too. Uh, but I went ahead and used their honey and this is delicious. This is really a yummy tea. I can't remember what it cost for, you know what, hold on. Okay, so for the 3.26 ounces, it's $11. Um, and so that's that's what it is. Um, I did notice with all of their teas that ounces of tea in it varied because the different teas weigh different amounts, but the tins are all the same size and they're all filled to the brim. So I thought that was interesting. You guys, I'm not very good at doing reviews, um, but I can tell you that I like this tea. It's chocolatey, it's spicy, and it's, um, in my opinion, best with a little bit of honey. I'm sure any honey would be good in it, but uh, they, I did use, I have only been using their honey because I'm like, I'm gonna try their honey and all of their teas. And it's delicious, it's really, really good. I think this is really good. It kind of like warms you up because of that spice, you know? Like the tea's warm, but then that spice kind of makes you all warm inside too. And so it's kind of a fun tea. It's a fun tea to try. I'll put a link to the tea in the comments below, and I hope you enjoyed this review. I will work on getting reviews up for the other teas that I ordered soon. It is very hard to film with a house full of people. I'm gonna show you my cute October earrings. I've got a little skeleton, a little dancing skeleton girl in my ears and my spiders in the top hole. And then I have a little skeleton dancing around my neck too. Fall's my favorite. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.